What's up guys, I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to help you decide what's the best interface for your iOS device. Let's get into it. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna do my best to help you understand what kind of interface you should be looking for for your specific situation. And I'm gonna link some of my top recommendations in the description down below. Also, closer to the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you the interfaces I use and why I use them. So let's get into it. So guys, the first thing that you need to be thinking about when you're purchasing an interface is how many tracks do you wanna record? And this is especially important with iOS devices because they can only run one interface at a time. So basically, whatever number of channels you get on your interface, you're locked into that number of tracks that you can record at one time. So guys, if you know that you're only gonna be recording one channel at a time, I would definitely look into getting a microphone that has the interface included. Um, basically, a USB microphone for your iOS device. I know that Apogee makes some great ones, the Mic Plus and the Hype Mic. I think that these are gonna be the best solution for people who wanna keep it simple. This setup is gonna be great for singer-songwriters and rappers who just want to get their vocals on a track. I think that this is gonna be best for people who are trying to do a podcast from their iPad or their phone, and also people who are trying to do voiceover on videos. These interfaces are definitely gonna make the most portable option. It's going to be super easy to just throw these in your bag and just be ready to record anywhere. So guys, in this last section of the video, I wanted to talk to you all about the interfaces that I use personally and why I use them. So the first one I use is the Focusrite 4i4 third generation. I really like this interface because it has clean audio inputs on the back. And what I mean by that is it doesn't have the preamps that the interface uses in those inputs. What you can do is in the future, buy a separate preamp that's higher quality than the preamps that are inside of the interface. So personally, I use the studio channel going into the back of my Focusrite anytime I wanna get a more professional sound. And for those of you who are interested in upgrading your studio in the future, you should definitely think about getting one of these Focusrite interfaces that has clean audio inputs on the back so you can buy better preamps in the future. So guys, my second interface is the Apogee GM Plus. The only thing that I use this for is recording electric guitar directly into my iPad. And if you're planning on recording electric guitar or, you, or playing in live situations with your electric guitar through your iPhone or your iPad, this is definitely the interface you should get. So guys, I hope that this video helped you figure out what's the best interface for your situation. If there's something that you think I should have mentioned that I didn't, definitely let me know in the comments. But as always, die empty. I'll catch you in the next one.